Hello to all. In the last video, we have discussed about the pre-fertilization events, and we know very well that in pre-fertilization events, there are two important uh, features. One is known as the gametogenesis, and another is known as the gamete transfer. We have already started a part of the gametogenesis in the last video. But today, in this step, gametogenesis, we are going to study cell division during gamete formation. We know very well, formation of gamete is called as gametogenesis. We have studied already in the previous video. Now, cell division during gamete formation means today you have to study in this video that which type of the cell division occurred during the gamete formation. Which type of the division occurred during gamete formation. Now, you might have studied two types of the divisions in class 11th. One is known as the mitosis, another is known as the meiosis. Now, what is the basic difference? In short, I will tell you so that you will not get any problem. One is mitosis. Mitosis is the division which never changes the chromosome number. It never changes the chromosome number. Okay. While meiosis is a type of the division in which the chromosome number is reduced to half. That's why mitosis is called as equational division because it never changes the chromosome number and meiosis is called as the reductional division. Why? Because it reduces the chromosome number to half. This thing you have to keep it in mind. Now, what is the topic? Cell division during gamete formation. Which type of division occur during gamete formation? Now, one, one thing should be kept in mind that already we have told you couple of times that Gametes are always haploid. Gametes are always haploid. Means it is N. And what is haploid? In the previous video also I have told you, if you are remembering, that they possess only one set of chromosome. What does N suggest? That they possess only one set of chromosome or genome. They have one set of chromosome or genome. But the thing to be noticed here is that a very very important one. It's not necessary that the gametes will be produced by only the diploid organism. Gametes can also be produced by the haploid parent also. So always remember gametes are always haploid. They are having single set of chromosome. But it is clearly clearly mentioned here that though the parent producing gametes, parent producing gametes may be haploid or diploid because we must know that all the organisms, all the parents are not always diploid. There are certain algae, fungi, there are algae, fungi and bryophytes. They are having haploid body. So haploid body, haploid parent body will always produce haploid gametes. And diploid parent body will also produce haploid gametes. Okay. So what I want to say, gametes formed will be always haploid. Whether they are formed by a diploid parent or whether they can be formed by a haploid parent but gametes are always haploid now a note is written as gametes are always haploid so surely very very important one this is asked many times in the exam as gametes are always haploid this is clearly told you so surely in a haploid parent gametes are produced by mitotic division means i want to say you that if a haploid, if a haploid parent is producing a haploid gamete, then it's it's necessary that which type of the division will occur? Mitotic division will occur or mitosis will occur because mitosis never changes the chromosome number. So just remember this thing that if the parent body is N, then it will produce the gametes that are always n by which division by mitotic division okay and this is seen in several organisms like algae fungi bryophyte means in algae fungi bryophyte which have haploid body they will produce haploid gamete by a division and that is known as the mitotic division so what was the topic of today's video cell division during gamete formation means which type of division occur in algae, fungi and bryophytes which have haploid parent body 
to produce haploid gametes so you will say always mitotic division now a big question must arise in our mind that do meiosis occur in organism that are haploid just now we have talked that a haploid body a haploid organism will produce haploid gametes by the mitosis but the question arises do meiosis do meiosis occur in organism that are haploid so yes answer is yes a question is given in your ncert but answer is not given i am giving you the answer here yes it occurs but it occurs in zygote it occurs in zygote and zygote is always diploid so yes haploid organism do undergo meiosis but not at the time of the gamete formation they undergo meiosis they undergo meiosis when zygote is formed and we know very well zygote is diploid and when meiosis occur when meiosis occur in zygote when meiosis occur in zygote then this is called as zygotic meiosis this is called as zygotic meiosis and meiosis is the type of the division which reduces the chromosome number to half now so this is called a zygotic meiosis meiosis which occur in zygote is called a zygotic meiosis zygote is 2n now from 2n what will be formed n so in these organisms in which the zygotic meiosis occur algae fungi graphids gametic fusion leads to formation of diploid zygote of course we all know that gametes are uh, when gametes are fused together what will be formed a diploid zygote will be formed now what will happen if meiosis occur then what will happen meiosis in zygote which results in formation of haploid spores when zygote undergoes meiosis then what are produced haploid spores are produced because meiosis is a reduction division now what will happen in these algae fungi and bryophytes these spore divide mitotically these spores these spores which are n will divide mitotically to form a haploid body to form a haploid body and haploid body is n and again so here meiosis occur in the zygote and resulting organism is haploid and the resulting organism is haploid now if this resulting organism which is n will undergo what mitosis it will produce what it will produce the n type of the gametes is it clear so uh, the haploid organisms can undergo meiosis but in them meiosis occur in zygote which is called a zygotic meiosis but at the time of the gamete formation they undergo mitotic division is it clear now next in plants belonging to groups like pteridophytes gymnosperm angiosperm and most of the animals including humans all are higher organism in plants belonging to pteridophyte gymnosperm and angiosperm and in most of the animals including the human beings the parental body is diploid now we are not at all talking about the algae fungi and bryophytes previously we were talking about the organisms which are having the haploid plant body or the haploid parent body but now we are discussing about the higher organisms which are having diploid body and of course if these organisms have to produce the gametes gametes are haploid so definitely it's obvious that they will undergo meiosis so here meiosis which is called as a reduction division has to occur in the diploid body to produce the haploid gametes is it clear so it is now in diploid organism specialized cells are there in diploid organism in these diploid organism means pteridophyte gymnosperm and gymnosperm human beings what are there in diploid organism specialized cells are there which are also called as gamete mother cell why because they produce gametes and these are called as very very important one and that is called as the meiocytes again i am repeating in diploid organism specialized cells are present uh, which produces the gametes also called as the meiocytes also called as the gamete mother cell these undergo what meiosis so of course meiocytes are twin meiocytes are twin and when they will undergo meiosis they will produce what they will produce the haploid gametes and at the end of meiosis one set of the chromosome will be there in each gamete say for i have quoted examples here i have made three columns here to give some example to prove some thing name of the organism chromosome number in the meiocyte and when meiosis will occur then gametes will be produced and gametes will be having n number of chromosomes say for the example number 1 is fruit fly in fruit fly the meiocyte which is 2n is having the chromosome number 8 so when the gametes will be formed so gametes are always haploid so half half of it is 4 so answer is means the gametes will be having four chromosomes house fly meiocyte is having 12 chromosome when meiosis will occur 
gamete will be having 6 chromosome red diploid number of chromosome is 42 gamete is having 21 ophioglossum we know very well ophioglossum is a fern and it is having the highest number of the chromosome in the plants and the neocyte is having 1 to 6 0 1260 uh, chromosomes are there so chromosome number in the gamete will be reduced to half after meiosis so the chromosome number will be 630 in cat deployed number of chromosome in meiosis is 38 the chromosome number in gamete will be 19 dog meiosis has 78 chromosomes gamete will be having 39 butterfly 380 the gametes will be having 190 rice the meiosis is having 24 and they will be having 12 apple 34 gametes will be having 17 okay so in gametogenesis we have today discuss the cell division which occurred during gamete formation in the next video we'll be discussing with the sexuality in organism which is also very very important so please wait for the next video i will be trying to upload the video as soon as possible keep watching thanks a lot Thank you.